Awesome! Guys! This is Apple's Games and Guns! Are we going yet? Ah. Mm, Wait, hold on, there's a little bit in my mouth. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Hey, hold up, she rises. Hey, hold up, she rises. Hey, hold up, she rises early in the morning. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do? With a drunken sailor, what shall we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Throw in the hole with the captain's daughter, throw in the hole with the captain's daughter, throw in the hole with the captain's daughter early in the morning. Hey, hold up, she rises, hey, hold up, she rises, hey, hold up, she rises early in the Howdy, ladies and gents. This is episode this many. Goblet Games and Guns, the podcast that refills, respawns, and reloads scotch. That's right. I'm Ricky Shulman, or at Ricky Shulman. I am Hilty at Hilty Games. I'm Coop Dog at Coop Dog 09. And who are you? I've never seen your face before in um, this town. Oh, camera shy. Oh, camera yes. shy. He got popped. This is um, Corey, Corey Chapin. Corey Chapin. And if you haven't noticed, we're in Corey Chapin's garage. You can find him at nothing. You can find him at nothing. He doesn't Twitter. socialize. This is about me. Just find me at the bar. Yeah. Right, you'll find Corey at the bar. All right, let's All refill. Right, let's get this gun. Respawn. Reload. Oh, cheers. Fuck. That's so disgraceful. Oh, nasty. My fucking spilt. <gasps> nope. Right on my nose. If you're not done, you, are you done? Turn it over. <sighs> Fuck. You know what? You got your hands up here. That's not done. <sighs> it was closing up. <sighs> my eyes are watery. Feel like I'm ch- Chinese. Yeah. It smells like that beer. Call back. <sighs> I don't like this. Ah! When Cooper says he likes something, that means he loves it. Oh, that's a good one. I guess I wasn't done enough. Dude, that I don't like it. You beat the three hosts, so that's more than enough. Just find me at the bar, baby. Oh, yeah, you really focused on that shit. Damn. I'm good at taking things down. Well, <laughs> goddamn chest. I'm in no rush. Boom. Look, not a single drop. Duck, duck oh. it. Duck. No. You can get so many drops. Damn, chill out on the sound over there. That was cool. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that's a full one. Put it back. We're not drinking that. We just drank that. Oh, fuck. So we're used to drinking Shiner, but in honor of Carbock, a local brewery in Houston, we're oh, going straight no. to the Carbock Eans. What about mine? Grab me one of mine. No, see. we're all drinking Symphony because Symphony is my favorite they make right now. Uh, it's so good. But this Hopadillo is, is. This is Symphony for the lager. lager. It's a hopped lager. And Hilti's going to love it. I fucking hate this beer. Alright, I don't think I've ever had this, so... So, Carbock is a local brewery in Houston that just recently started... What a bitch. I like your your koozie, Coop. It's cute. (laughs) Cheers. It's cute. Turn tech. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers our fans. Corey, you want to do a shout-out to your buddy? Thanks for having me. Mm. Thanks for having me. Who's your, bu- who's your buddy at TurnTech? You want to do a shout-out real quick? Oh, we're going to call Blake at TurnTech. Hell Blake yeah. Turntech. I'm Blake at TurnTech. He will, he will take <laughs> care of you for all your machining needs. <laughs> Hoppadillo's better. That's no. my first sip. Simply for, this is, I've been looking for a beer, because I have. I always have a good... <laughs> I'm about to throw up on you. <laughs> <laughs> I look over, it looks like you got them goldfish. She's like... <laughs> Anyways, I you know I always keep like a pretty good stock of craft beer, but uh, every once in a while I just want a beer that you know just a, like a sipping beer that doesn't taste like water, you know. So and this is this is my, for right now this is my answer to that. It's a it's a light beer. It has flavor. It has it has body, and it, and it's in a can, so it's easy to take wherever you want to go. So 
If you see me at a pool this summer, if you see me at a tailgate in the fall, I'll probably be drinking this beer. It's it's not as bad as I remember because I remember I first yeah. had this when it came out and it was yeah. it didn't fit my taste, but yeah. it's it's starting. It's coming around. I'm I am starting to change. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Hopadilla is still better. We're, we're gonna go. What are we going into? Guns or games? We can do guns. You want to do guns? Cooper's doing yeah. guns. All right. Hand me, hand me the shotgun. Actually, hold on. I got something to say. Whoa. First. Okay. 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 I, I, I remember it. I just I want to talk about this. There's a little topic to discuss because it's been it's been bothering me for about like lay, lay, 15 years now. Lay some knowledge on us. So whenever y'all are like driving down the road, y'all just like think about random shit all the time. Yeah. Sometimes I get right. to where I'm going. I, I listen to podcasts. There. So bring it back to elementary. In elementary school, are when do, when do you start learning about colors and what they like? Are you talking about black people? Colors? No, like colors. Yeah, like I red, I like I like red color. Like Whoa. red, blue, Whoa. yellow, green. Like what the? Just, what just hang with about? me. This is, this is, this is. Okay, red, weird, blue, yellow, green. All right, just, I'm hanging on. When do you start learning your colors? When? Yeah. Kindergarten. Like, kindergarten. Kindergarten, right? Yeah, it's way back. I couldn't right. drive back then. So, <laughs> this, did you learn the wrong colors or something? No, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I think pink is blue. <laughs> this, no, I just think about this. And it, I, I, it like always pops in my mind. Where are you going what, with this? What if each of us perceive colors differently? Like. Are you thinking like, about my, the red that I see? You you see it blue, but know that it's red, dude. Have you read the fucking book Hatchet? No. Yeah, okay. I have. Do you know what I, he's talking about? Like mm-hmm. the, the the different perceptions of shit. Yeah, but that, I think I see blue, blue, and red as red. Yeah, that's what I think too. That's what I'm saying. But what if what if like how do you test that? Like I may see orange, and you may okay, see green, color, but you know it is orange. What color, what color is Yoshi? Well, obviously we're gonna we're gonna name the same thing, but what if what if you I actually don't what see so that color? so I if, what you're so okay I understand what you're saying. So if you're saying that you, you we all see green, right? But if you initially learned the color green as like the color orange, it would be way different than what we see. Well, no, I'm just, you, you if learn, you if you no, learn you you learn what green is, yes. but you actually see it as my orange. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But you know it is green. Yes, we have we we know what it means, but. So that doesn't really even matter, though. See, I, we I all know like it's green. Yeah, but it's so much. But we all know it's green. But why does that always pop my mind? I like think about it, and it always. I just like think about it for like fifteen minutes when it pops in my mind. Like, That's like me. I, I wonder why everybody has a different penis size. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, I think I'm huge, but what if the next dude's like, "Nah, dude, you're tiny." <laughs> <laughs> I, my perspective. I think his penis is white, but it's actually black. <laughs> it is quite a bit darker than the rest of my body. Uh, well, I'll just say the only color that matters. Maroon, is this maroon. Color. But what maroon if? But what if this looks burnt orange to you and God, it's maroon to me? Where in the hell are you going with this shit? <laughs> I, I'm not really going anywhere. I'm just saying. I'm just bringing it up. Fucking, oh my god! That's an interesting subject. See, That's I applaud you for your thoughts. See, <laughs> but I think it's so stupid. I got. I always have a lot of random thoughts, and I'm like, all right, I'll bring that to the podcast. So. Okay, Joel Heyman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about stocks. All right. Stock. Wait, that, that was Joel. Heyman's stock, stock of a gun. Yes. Yeah, stocks transition. Of a gun. <laughs> not, not a stock of celery. <laughs> this is a. I'm about to start talking yilt. about the stock market. I know. That's what. <laughs> That's what we were going with. Okay, this is a Yilt. Uh, it's a Turkish gun. It's uh, you can find an Academy for fairly cheap. This is is that, over- the, is that the Academy House brand? Uh, kind of. I mean, they're they're real big in Europe. Is it made in America? No, it's made in Turkey. Right the, well, out Turkish. Here. well, you know, foreign people make pretty. Good I, I know. Guns. I, I, I like, do to like eat that Turkey. Gun, like they have, There's a CZ rifle. I don't know the full name, but it's, it's Yiddish. No, that that one I believe is Yaldis. Indian. Uh, Anyways, yeah, no, this is Turkish. Anywho, uh, y- Yildiz, I nice. believe, and, and Turkish means star. Yildiz, Yildiz, Yildiz. Um, <laughs> this is actually a twenty gauge over under. Um, I like over unders. They're my favorite type of shotgun. They're, they just look cool when you're reloading. You only get two right? shots. I know, but it's cool when you pop it and that's it, all you need. Shell shoot, pop I out. only need one. One, two. How much for an over under? limit is what you asked this. Are we betting? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this over-under. as far as over unders go, and nice ones because this you know it's engraved. Engraved, yeah. It, you know, it, I mean, it looks like a really, nice, really gun. nice. Hilton, what, what how much would you pay for this? Uh, thirty-seven cents. Okay. I, this, uh, I bet that gun wait, costs. It, it's fairly cheap. I, I bet that gun costs about three hundred eighty bucks. It's about four hundred. Good guess. Yeah. 
If it was about four hundred Yeah, yeah. It'd be like the Olympia. that'd be like three hundred. Yeah, this is my Olympia. Um, <laughs> yeah. This that gun. this was actually voted the best gun in two thousand ten by really? the shooting industry of Europe. So I thought you were gonna. It's a European. So, I thought you were gonna oh, say okay, that. So that's the, a little prejudice. I thought I thought he was gonna say the Turkish Shotgun Association. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, and we only make one kind of shotgun. <laughs> yeah. does, does the, the barrel height? You know, obviously when you shoot your first, it comes out comes out the top or bottom. Top. And then you go to the well, bottom. You can actually you can switch it, it but, right? Yeah, you can switch it. Do you have to adjust your aim, or is it basically no, the same? No, really. no, no. I mean, it's obviously, shotgun, shotgun spreads. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, yeah, shotgun spreads yeah. so much it really doesn't matter too much. Hey, it's a valid but, question for someone that didn't shoot. Is a shotgun this the first alive. shotgun y'all shown? Mm, no, you had no the uh, first episode. Oh, oh no. you did the single shot goose no, gun. No, I, right? I, I did the goose gun. Yeah, okay. So I mean, you could add chokes to that. This one, I don't think so. No, yes, like, yes, you can. Of a gun. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you can. You can add. I believe the fir- the top one is modified, and the second one is improved. So what's the for our viewing audience? I guess what's the speak up. What's the uh, no? The second one might be ski. But I'm just saying for the people that don't know what a choke is. No. What's a choke? I don't know what a choke. Okay, is. A choke is what goes into the barrel. Are you choking your chicken? Right, like that. <laughs> um, that usually, one. whichever <laughs> barrel you have shooting first. <laughs> You want that one a little uh, a little more open, right? So the birds are coming at you, and you have more an open choke. Uh, so it's when you shoot, it's a bigger spread. Mm. And then when they're going away, you're going to shoot your second shot, There's and you want tighter. that tighter, so it'll go a little bit. That's further. awesome. I always want it tighter. Yeah. Uh, so I, <laughs> the bottom one, I believe, is actually a full choke, which is as tight as it goes. Okay. Atta boy. Um, any other questions about the gun? What about your chode? Um, <laughs> chodes are usually the same length as it is in circumference, but <laughs> um, despite you know Flawless. beliefs, you looking at a chode penis, you can't really chode tell that penis. it's a chode. 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 You penis. have to measure it, guys. <laughs> measure it. You're probably pretty close. You got a nice recoil pad on there too. Yeah, you do. Yes. Uh, if you can tell, yeah, I'll hold this. It's pretty yeah, fucking light. Pass it around. It's pretty fucking light. You need a recoil. Oh, yeah. For any gun that's yeah, it's really, just close. a lot lighter than I was expecting. Yeah. yeah. You can just close it and put it over there again. Um, I was going to talk about uh, fishing a little bit. It's warming up. Fucking getting really nice. You're I'm excited. going this You're weekend. You're talking Gulf Coast fishing? Gulf Coast. Yes. Yeah, I don't do much fresh water. I don't. I'm, I think I mentioned that in the You past. should mention your extra on our website, because that was a cool video. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah check out my extra. Next I got a GoPro time. for Valentine's Day. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Denise. That was awesome. Yeah. Like the, the nice one. Uh, I, I mounted a, a little rig up. Oh, so you can yeah. watch me. Yeah. The was that, was that Bluebell jet. running around you when you were going in, or was that it a straight It was Bluebell and, uh, and my mom's dog, Lee. Okay. Oh, that was here. cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was very fun. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I didn't catch any fish in the extra. Hopefully this weekend I will. It was a test run, know. but it was still, yeah. it was a badass test run, dude. See, that, that was fun. The The water's not quite warm yeah. enough yeah. yet. He farted in it's the water. In for a lot of fish to get moving in. But uh, right fun. now, you can catch uh, some reds on scattered shell beds. Mm-hmm. Right? And uh, trout are a little bit deeper, still over shell beds, but... You know they're they're moving more shallow, which is good. Yeah, and shit ton of drums if if you like like. Yeah. Do you do more kayak or wading? Uh, mostly kayak yeah. until it gets real warm. I was gonna buy a kayak and then it, my wife said, "Oh, you." All I have is fucking pelicans. I mean they're bottom of the line for sit on top kayaks, but we're over it. I mean, it's three hundred job done. He just wanted the kayaks, and she. But I got like five no of them. Way. I got like, like five oh, of them, so we go like, down oh, and. Flowers. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I no want flowers. <laughs> uh, as far as Texas go, uh, Turkey's still open. I mean, depending on what county you're in, so yeah, look it up because true. it's fucking different for every part of the state. Don't get caught. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, deer are open, too. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This, is good, this is a good time to say. This is a good time to say. Whenever we talk about issues like hunting, beer, games, we don't claim to be experts, so 
If you want to tell us we're wrong, we'll be more than happy to know we're just wrong. Just don't hunt. And you deer can right do now this, Texas. Yeah. Just don't hunt deer right That's, now in Texas. That's really loud. That's no. Loud. No. Ooh, let, let the, ooh, ooh, worth let, it. Let the the King level Ranch level. though worth open it. all year long. Oh, you speaking just gotta of King walk Ranch, huh. did you hear that story? There, uh, there, uh, there's a guy that apparently has an adjoining ranch to him, and he shot a hog on his ranch. He claims. But King Ranch claims it's on their ranch, Uh-oh. and so they're cla- they rung him up with a game warden and the state judge saying that he shot an exotic animal when he shot a wild hog. So Whoa. he's he's facing a year in prison and a four thousand dollar fine. Why the Whoa. fuck would they care about a Shit. hog? Yeah, I'm just saying. Just, That's fucking ridiculous. I have not heard. Where'd you hear that? I saw, I read about it on a via like a, saw the link on via text ads, and then yeah, I followed it followed to the it. game warden diaries, and then. My brother in law. Freaking investigative Gordon. reporter over here. Freaking Wayne Doe Trevino. <laughs> <laughs> My hey, just, just look at everything you read on the internet. Yeah, that's true. But hey, that, that is going that's, on. That's this guy, this guy is uh, apparently the guy's ranch. Well, and his family does King Ranch have like a high fence or something? Well, not mm. on that part. And they're actually. Was it like they don't a, have, a they big And they, uh, they don't have a fence on this part. They say that the the property line so is creek this or creek or something, this uh, creek, and he shot it on the other side of the creek, and he said, for the last 50 years I've been alive, so and the hundred He shot years, it on their side and drug it. Drug it <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said for, the last, uh, for the last 40, 50 years I've been alive, and for the hundred years my family's owned this property, that's always been our land. Yeah. Yeah. You know, huh. so, anyway. Huh. Wow, that is interesting. I'll have to talk to Hogan about yeah, that. I'm sure him. he's heard about it. You probably know, yeah. I freaking love this beer Aren't so you? much. This is a good beer. And it has like... It's oh, not bad. It, okay, has little, kid, it has a little record on kid, it, and I feel like I can yeah. just... They're, some of them. Uh, they're, all right, let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about the can. <laughs> let's talk about their can design. I do it. I think it's awesome. I just wish the top didn't split like that. I wish it was really? red and, and I think gray. it's kind of cool. I'm not that picky, but you know what can design I really, 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 really like? Papadillo. Hopadillas. Well, it's the same. It's the I'm same. A, it's I'm the a same big fan of the bombshell blonde can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's, it's got a, a chick on it. A pinup girl. That's the reason I first bought that beer. But the, the Hopadilla <laughs> can has the same two tone, though, right? Yeah. All their, all their all has the, cans has the same two tone. I just. I, I like it like that. I like the two tone, but I don't like. I don't like. I just wish it was the same on the top for some reason. I don't know. It just bothers yeah? me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What the difference would be. I. I well, I. I like the two tone. That's all I'm saying. I like the t- I'm, I like the two tone. I like the, but I like the two tone crosswise. Though. I like that it says brewed in Texas right on the top. Yeah, it's very cool. Give me some. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me some. They all have different sayings though, right? Yeah, they do. Uh, I, I don't remember what. Here, let's are. let's read the. Uh, Grab my hopadillo. Let me no, let me, right, let so me read the. He's gonna read the. Here. He's gonna read the can real quick. So uh, okay. on the side of the can it says logarithm. Please follow me logarithm, to logarithm like a logarithm. Yes. Nice. Exactly. Like I it. like it. Play on words. It's called a pun. I'm an engineer. Right. Natural logarithms. Whoa! 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 All right. Whoa! Please, no, right. Pink Koozie's getting to it. Right. He's about to drop it. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a beer of damn fine taste. I've been been around for a long, long time, but many brewers ruined my name. I've watched now for several decades as my character has been disgraced. Aww. But now the boys down at, on Carbox Street have made me first rate. Full of fine malt and German hops, my taste is both fine and bold. And though my flavor always stands out, I'm best enjoyed. Ice cold. Nice. So if you meet me, have some courtesy, have some sympathy, enjoy my taste. <laughs> we need to make that into I kind of feel bad. Song. I kind of feel bad for those fags up in Dallas and in, in San yeah, Antonio that they don't can't have get this beer. beer. My yeah. wife is from Dallas and. She's a fag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she loves men. That's what I heard. I'm gonna tell her that. That's what I heard. Dallas a- sucks. Okay. According to Dallas, Cooper. does suck. <laughs> I had to get married there, man. It was traffic. Right <laughs> I, I remember that. Cooper doesn't remember that. That was a fun movie. I remember the first part. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn Mark Bell. He's an asshat. <laughs> Mark Bell, yay! Hey, that's a shout out. Here's to Mark Bell and his. I've great heard. tackling ability of Cooper, giving him a concussion. Here's the Cooper and his great concussion ability. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you get everything you want to cover yeah. on the the guns. Um, real grand turkey still open. Yeah, Check you the places. That. Yeah, you're good. Hey, when does duck good. open? Uh, duck October sometime. No, earlier than that I thought. Nothing. Uh, yeah. Dove opens up September first. 
Right. That was September 1st. Right. So we're going to move on to the goblets. All right, let's do it. While Corey's preparing a little special something, something, I'm going to go ahead and up some. go over a new segment I like to call... Grab your glasses. Hopaganda. Nice. Oh, that's good. I like it. That's you like that? That's creative. Grab the glasses. Well, my forward. first point was... Carbach, a local brewery in Houston, is now in stores in cans. We've been waiting. They've been, they've been open for about probably six months now. Hilti built it. Hilti built it. Built it. helped Hilti. build the brewery. He was the general contractor? I was assistant general contractor. This was... beer has Hilti sweat in it. Yeah. Okay. I went like and this. his name went all over the brewery. <laughs> you're under, you're under ah. like that? You can't even give us your head here? Or no, no, there? no. This is the where the sweat came from. <laughs> right there. Right there. All right. Nick, you gotta be preparing the yeah, scotches. Yeah, right, I'm ready. You gotta prepare the scotches. Oh, Just pour, pour it in the glasses ready. for us. Yeah. Well, I need some Hilti. ice help. Oh, one cube. Here, I got it. Per glass. All right. So, uh, all, where I get my Hopaganda news information from is beernews.org. So check it out if you if you want. So uh, next next item is three breweries uh, topped 100 million dollars in off premise sales. Three craft breweries. Off premise. Off premise. So in stores. Okay. Y'all should be able to name at least a few of them, so take a few guesses. St. Arnold, St. Arnold, yeah. No. Oh. We're talking about nationwide. Oh, uh, nationwide. Uh, the first one, the number one should be easy. One, yes. Uh, I, I know. Sam I, Adams. Sam Adams. It Sam Adams had $237 Which should million. be a craft brewer, though. Right. $237 million. All right, number two. Shining? No. Star. Shining Star. Southern Star? Southern Star. No, I'm Southern talking about Southern nationwide craft brewery. I couldn't hear you. I was getting you, All right, Coors? this one is out in California. Coors. <laughs> out in California, and they're famous for their pale ale. Uh, Indian. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Come on. Close. Dude, fuck, fuck. we're craft beer people, man. Okay, it's Sierra Nevada. Oh, oh that yeah, one. $141 million. And number three is in... From Colorado, and they're uh, famous for a beer down. that has a bicycle on the label. Flat tire. Yeah. yeah. What's flat the tire. Oh, flat tire. Flat tire. New Belgium. Oh. And I also have number or New Belgium had 103.5 million, and the number four is on here as well. And someone guessed it earlier, yeah. but he's good. Right. What's number four? You, someone guessed it earlier. Coors. Same house. No. What did I say? Dogfish was, head. No. That's a good guess, though. Yeah, I'm, so, I, I'm actually surprised Dogfish said isn't number four, but it's a Texas brewery that's number four. Shiner. Yep. Southern Star. Oh, Seven, Shiner. Shiner has... Yeah. Se- Southern Star's too Shiner has 77.5 million. Huh. I love it. Uh, next one. Uh, a new brewery... A, a new brewing company is coming to Texas. Yeah. It's uh, called Hebrew... The chosen beer is in a quotation mark. It's a Jewish from? brewery. So, uh, the Jewish so, owner. So there's no pork in it, right? It's be right. Kosher? This okay. is all kosher. Kosher beer? No uh, pork in our beer. But it's it's pretty cool though because <laughs> uh, one to bacon flavored beer. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Next time. Next time. Uh, they're gonna be here in uh, either late May or early June. Yeah. And uh, they previously well, the reason why it's pretty the reason why I tagged this is because. Um, was it Valentine's Day or one, or like two year <laughs> wedding anniversary? Kenzie uh, enrolled me in a, a beer of the month club nice. or beer of the season. Well, it's close enough. And Hebrew brewing or Hebrew beer was part of one, and they um, I got a IPA and a pomegranate ale, which was I actually it actually the caught pomegranate? me pomegranate. Actually caught me off guard on how good it was. You, you was like it the pomegranate? Fruit? Yeah, the pomegranate was really good. I was love pomegranate. Fruit? All right, you should. And I comes, bet I would love. Yeah, it's that. called it's called Origin. And the IPA, and which was really morning. good, was is a uh, hot manna. Huh. Hot but manna. Another it issue. Sounds like something I'm. We'll be there in a minute. Yeah, exactly. We'll, be, we'll go to hot manna in a yeah. minute. <laughs> okay. Hot manna. But in another, a few. Another reason I thought this was cool though is that they uh, the oh, the article yeah. I read interviewed the brewer and they said that they previously Texas wasn't even an option because of the laws. And I don't uh, know if y'all remember from the episode before, but Jester King remember uh, Jester King took it to court about. Having the label be beer or ale, they had a certain alcohol yeah. percentages labeled yeah. to beer and certain to ale. Yeah. Well, I think all theirs has either ale or beer on it. Whatever they would have had to relabel all their cans just or all their bottles yeah, just to come stupid. to Texas. Yeah. So that's why they're able to come here. Gotcha. That's um, pretty cool. Another another uh, topic to talk about. Uh, as breweries grow, they run out of capacity. You know, yeah, they're, they they're, they're building doesn't allow it anymore. They expand. So a couple that are expanding right now is New Belgium, which we talked about earlier, out of Fort Collins, Colorado. 
they are looking to open up a brewery on the East Coast oh, to yeah. you know shortens distribution yeah. and it helps with production yeah. capacity. Supply chain, man. Supply chain. Yep. They That's haven't right. decided on location yet. And then Victory out of uh, Pennsylvania is looking to open up a brewery right in the adjacent town okay. just to expand just capacity. To, uh, yeah. But I kind of I wanted to bring it up because it's kind of crappy. Or I, I think it's crappy whenever <laughs> scotch, dude. Whenever a craft brewery like don't ruin the scotch. when I think of a craft brewery, I think it's like all in one place. Anything it helps it doing test batches, but just like when they spread out across, you know, to another brewery across the nation. Yeah, it's like they kind of lose their, they kind of become a production brewery. To gotcha. Me, you know? Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. You know, they kind of lose their roots. Yeah. Anyways, um, they they worry more about. They they're just they're they just pull, trying as they pull a to, blue moon. They, yeah. they they start focusing on profit, which yeah, obviously they should. They're a business, but yeah. they start focusing more on making making their stock. Full of blue right. moon. Yeah, exactly. Um, another thing I found: uh, Sam Adams uh, started a, a program a while back called Brewing the American Dream, which is a program where they s- supply uh, craft brew craft, brewers, craft no not home oh. brewers, but craft brewing oh. tools they need oh this is a quote from it tools they need to be successful which uh translates to loans and workshops mm. oh that's cool so they help they help sam adams does sam that? adams so they're like, the biggest and they try, help trying to get upstarts or something yeah like a brewery starting up they'll, they'll give them a loan that they may may not have gotten from a regular bank oh, help really them cool. out give them workshops of what they need to be yeah, doing yeah. to do right we're um, gonna need that eventually <laughs> yeah when we open up our brewery when ricky gets big time uh, but the story was about on their loans, only three point eight percent of all the loans they've given out over the past year have defaulted. So wow, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. Oh, that's that's really pretty good, good percentage. That just yeah. shows you how much uh, craft beer is growing, beer's growing yeah. in America. Yeah, exactly. And they're working. And hard. I thought it was they're cool that hard, Sam Adams yeah. is helping other craft yeah. beers. Yeah. Not, guy yeah. I work with it's not a cutthroat business. Craft yes. beer helps yeah. each other out. They'll they'll talk to the people who right. need help. Yeah. There's a guy I work with that's from Scotland, and you know you'd think that England or I mean the UK is yeah. home of craft beer, or Germany he's, he has access to all of it, mm-hmm. but. He, he says craft beer is his favorite and when he comes to Texas to work. Wow. Have any of y'all watched uh, Trailer Park Boys? Oh, I love that show. Uh, dang it, no. With pepperoni? <laughs> every time, like when Corey tells a story, I see bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. And I love it. And I need you to wear like some big ass fucking glasses. <laughs> Coke bottle glasses. <laughs> yes. I mean, they're like this thing. All right, so that's the best show I'm, fucking ever. As for the drinking portion of Goblets, I'm defaulting to our guest host Corey Chapin. Yes, let's drink okay, some more. So tell us about it. Well, we're going to talk about Scotch today. My number Yay! one favorite, the nectar of the gods. Ah, we're moving nectar into liquor, boys. So okay, so before you drink a Scotch, you might want to know a little bit about Scotch. So in Scotland, lay some knowledge. The, lay some knowledge. That's where it's from. It's from Scotland. From Ireland. Who to guess? Who to guess? <laughs> So there's five main regions of where they grow the crops to make the scotch. The, and the uh, barley. The barley or the malt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, barley is becomes malted when they. That's true. Right. That's true. So, uh, so they're the five regions. <laughs> oh, no, he regions. didn't talk to the beer guy. Man. <laughs> well, you want me to go through how scotch is made, or do you want to go? Just like, well, I, I uh, go, I'll go through, through, through the yeah, backstory. Yeah, yeah, I'll go through the backstory. So there's I didn't do that. so the five reason five regions of the uh, of scotch regions in Scotland mm-hmm. are Campbellton, Highland Scotch, Islay Scotch, Speyside Scotch, which is what we're drinking tonight, nice. and Lowland Space Scotch. Age? Space, Space Age. Space, Space Cadet. <laughs> what was it called again? Speyside. 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 S P E Y S. And then there's Lowland, and Lowland is the most popular because people find it the most pure because it's distilled three times. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Triple distilled. Smooth and shit like that. And so when you get into scotch, you see in the it's store like you see light. you'll either see single malt or blended scotches. Yeah. And okay. so blended scotches is a mix of malt and the grain. Okay. And uh, the grain whiskey, and that's usually cheaper scotch because. The grain, it's mostly made up of grain, which is... You want so you all you you your sugars to come from yeah, malt, exactly. malted barley. Yeah. Exactly. So the single malt well. gotcha. is only from malt whiskeys. Right. And that's... And, okay. Which is, so and you want sing- that. You want single malt. That's single malt is more higher quality. quality. Like, okay. yeah. it's, and so single malt is usually aged. And something I learned when I quit, uh, when I started drinking scotch was uh, that there's a law about single malt scotch. Oh, really? And single malt in, scotch... In America or yes, everywhere? In okay. every, globally. Okay. Oh. Single malt scotch can only be sold if it's ten, uh, no, 
if it's older than ten years old. Really, it has I to had, be age. It has to be age for ten years before it can be sold. I had, so, I had no idea with, about with the that. single okay. malt label. Oh, see, I didn't know that. And so that's really if cool. you see a uh, if you see a single malt Scotch aged twelve years, sixteen oh, years, yeah. eighteen years, you know your those scotches are mixed. So you have a ten year uh, Scotch, but it will have some twelve year old Scotch in it, yeah. and sixteen year old mm-hmm. Scotch, oh, okay. and eighteen year old Scotch in it. Gotcha. So very cool. Um, so what we're drinking tonight is the uh, Glen Murray Twelve Year. So uh, I put it on one ice cube. Yeah, the one ice cube just waters it down just to sm- enough yeah. to bring out the flavors yeah. in it. And so Glen oh, Murray, man. yeah, smells so that good. little smell. So Glen Murray was opened. The distillery of Glen Murray was opened in what 1897. Wow. And. Uh, so, so after it opened, following a, a distillery fire and the family that owned Where's the, Glen Murray at? It's it's a Speyside Scotch in Scotland. Oh, okay. oh it's in that, Obviously. In that area. It's in the area. So, so the bro- they're, they're broke up by area. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. So we didn't, know the, ge- we didn't know the geography. According so. to the gotcha, region, gotcha, the, gotcha. The, the malt makes sense. The grain is different, right? gotcha. you know, just depending on the. Just like, it's yeah, the area, yeah, yeah it's exactly. Yeah. Soil, so, and so, so following it. following yeah. an opening in 1897, it uh, it burnt, had a fire, yeah, yeah. and then the family that owned it was focusing on their other own distillery more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they closed it in 1910. Mm-hmm. No, no, yeah, very sad. So uh, in 19, it was closed for 10 years, and in 1920, another family bought it. Actually, another distillery bought it. Uh, the Glen Moranic Distillery. Bought it. Mm-hmm. They opened it back up. Nineteen. They started producing uh, Scotch whiskey again. Nineteen fifty eight. They added a few more stills, and then they since nineteen fifty eight, they've kept adding and adding and adding stills. And now today, it said. I mean, they say that they can produce uh, about two million liters of Scotch annually. Wow, that's a that's lot. A lot. Of, yeah. that's a lot of. It's a lot of drunk people. So, so do they have to wait twelve years before they can release it? Uh, yeah, they, they, they yeah. put in those aging barrels, and that's actually how scotch gets its color, and all whiskey gets its colors from I'm gonna the, talk about the that. oak. Okay. okay. I'm I'm gonna gonna I won't stay with that. So, uh, so anyway, um, Glen Murray cool. actually has earned silver medals for the 12 and 16 year old scotches at the 2007, 09, and 10 San Francisco World uh, Spirit Competition. And so. So just, we just, for our yeah, we drink it. Yeah. Take or a just for our listeners, uh, how much would a uh, twelve years? This like one, like, this right, right. Uh, this scotch That's is considered so a, uh, one of the best bargain scotches, and I bought it. I buy it at Specs. It's the only place I've been able to find it, and it costs about thirty bucks a bottle, okay. which is which is a pretty good bargain. This yeah, is my scotch. this is my come home at night sipping scotch. Now, I, I mean, I can buy plenty of nicer things, but. Yeah, yeah. This is your every day. Good. This, this is your scotch. this is your simply for the lager scotches. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so um, the single malt, this single malt scotch is about forty percent ABV, and then um, I don't think I got as much as you guys. What the fuck? Well, you took a big drink. Yeah. <laughs> and you so if you look at cool. it, they say you judge scotch the color of scotch by holding it up to light, and if you look at it, or it's kind good. of a. Um, a pale gold or with yellow highlights in These it. These glasses are kind of blue. So I know. They're kind of motorcycle glasses. I can't tell. And so, you smell it. It smells good. They say it's a mellow soft. You can smell hints of vanilla, oak. I can smell and, that. Uh, and some even say you can kind of smell hints of pear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, a uh, and if you if you want to sip it and taste it, swish it around a little bit. Yeah. Swish I went to a pear farm once, and this brings me back. You can. I, I think it's really a really smooth scotch. Yeah. Has a um, when you when you drink it, it has like hints of butter uh, oakiness, and it finishes with like small buttery hints of vanilla. Uh, it, it's what I like. Yeah. yeah. You know, I used to think I, I hated scotch because in college I bought like a real cheap bottle of scotch, mm. and you probably bought a blended. Yeah. I, 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 blended gives me headaches. Yeah. It, it, uh. it was fucking horrible. It burned and it didn't didn't taste good and. In college, you had always been talking about scotch, and I was like, "Well, the first time I ever tried scotch, I tried it with my father-in-law, but we weren't son father-in-law at the time. I thought he drinks blended scotch, and I thought it tastes like grass. It's definitely (laughs) an acquired taste. Yeah, definitely an acquired taste. Uh, Is it like IPA? The 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 first time I had scotch that I liked, I bought you some for your wedding, and we had it 
like right before the wedding. So good. That was it amazing. Didn't burn, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" You know, I, I bought you like what I thought was nice scotch. I don't know much about scotch. Yeah, it was just great. At the price tag, and, uh, and I was like, "All right, this is good." Yeah, and 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 we're. Taking sips off the bottle, oh, you yeah. know, in the back room. You the correct that? way to do it. <laughs> my uh, my six, 17 year old brother was doing it with us too. Just he was having a good no, time. No, he wasn't. Was special occasions. It's oh, okay it's, now. Special Amanda's, occasions. Amanda's uncle gave, I didn't see gave that. me for our wedding. Gave me a 22 year old bottle of scotch, Ooh, and I, we drank. Shit. My dad and I drank it at Christmas, and nice. there's Very nothing cool. like nectar of the gods. Right, but but uh, one more note, if and I like to. A lot of people like to pair scotch with cigars. Just kind of want two things yeah. to go together. And this is kind of a, considered a um, medium to full-bodied scotch. Yeah. And right. so if you want to pair it with a cigar, you kind of want to go with a medium to full-bodied cigar. Like okay. my favorite cigar, Aroma to Cuba. Would be so, a to go okay, now, uh, medium to full-bodied, that's judged by the color of the cigar? Or uh, the, the, co- the, the, like the, the kick of it, I right. guess. Yeah. Kind of the kick. It it's is, like a medium it, to full-bodied beer. You when know, like when you full- buy a cigar, does it say medium? No, no, full- no. no, no, no. Okay. You just kind of... It how, does. How do you judge? It is related. Yes, the guy it is related or? to the color. Slight. I mean, that, that gives you a good indication of what it is. Okay. Um, but it. I'm not a big tobacco guy, so. Well, well eventually like, we'll like, do we'll a, a cigar. A beer, like a, a, a full-bodied beer would be like what a left-handed milk stout or the moose drool or something, right? Uh, or well, a stout. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, just. Moose drool. He likes those. A moose is just a brown, but a, a, a stout would be the the heaviest or yeah. imperial stout. Anyway, we'll do. So a, yeah, you said you. Yeah, have I'll, some, I'll, we'll do a sca- made. We'll do a cigar episode. Yeah, well, well, maybe may may maybe extra or episode depending on if we're outside or not. Invite a little me. shout out to yeah. personally my favorite uh, podcast DGR. They just, they they did a, a cigar episode. Drunken just, Gamers what, Radio. Yes, like two or three weeks ago. Yeah. It was funny. It was man. awesome. It was one of the cigars. best ones. I mean, like I was driving to work listening to them, and I wanted to smoke a cigar. Yeah, yeah. really. It's very cool. Anyways, I uh, being a being a home brewer, I, I was interested in scotch making. I know, and I think the first episode we talked about your your uh, buddy yes. having a, a little still. Yeah, the home still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are so, easy to make man, easy to make. So basically, you he bought it you online. brew beer just like you do a beer, and when it's done fermentation, you take it, and the resulting liquid is about five to seven percent alcohol by volume, and then you separate it from the solid matter with a filter, and then uh, that is called the wash when you separate it from all its all of its solids. The next step is the to wash use, is what's left over from the solids. Right, it's okay. it's a wort, and then it gets ferment fermented, wash. filtered. Now it's the wash. <laughs> And then you is use it, a. Is it, is it colored? No, it's clear. And then you use. How a, do you how do you separate it? Use a still, or I mean, you just use any type of like real fine filter. This is semi illegal. This is very illegal unless you have a, unless you have a permit from the state. Permit. Uh, the next step is to use a still to distill the wash. Distill this distillation is used to increase the alcohol content and to remove undesired impurities such as methanol. Distillation is a method to separate mixtures based on differences in volat- now, I volatility. Now, black people like methanol in their cigarettes. Is that bad for you? <laughs> that's the, that's a different type of methanol. You didn't. Say <laughs> Basically, what they do is <laughs> they they filter it out and then boil off all the water, so all that's left is that alcohol. The maximum distillation purity is ninety four point eight percent alcohol by volume, and then it's diluted to about sixty sixty three point five percent. And before it's placed in the cast to mature, it's when you put it in the cast, it's clear liquid. Like huh. you were saying earlier, it picks up it picks up all of its color from the from the char. Last time they burn the barrels on charred, the inside, yeah. charred barrels. That's yeah. where it picks it up. And when it comes out of the barrels, it's blended and and, and batted. That's why you get oakiness flavor. Right. A okay. bunch of barrels are made out of oak. The whiskey is generally diluted to a bottling strength of. They just leave it in there for the whole 12, 15 years. Right. Later. Yes. Yeah. And it's usually diluted to a bottling strength between 40 and 46 percent. And many whiskeys are chill fermented, or sorry, chill filtered before bottled before bottling. In this process, the whiskey is chilled to nearly zero degrees Celsius or 32 uh, Fahrenheit and passed through a, a fine filter. Whenever you freeze it, it, it Celsius, it, it pulls more because uh, the alcohol doesn't. It freeze. pulls more protein out yeah, and okay. makes yeah. it clear. But uh, a lot of like Scotch enthusiasts. Uh, Take, take that as removing some flavor, a lot of the flavor, on some of the nicer ones. 
So you have to look for if you want to be a Scotch enthusiast, you you want to look for the uncold the ones that aren't filter. cold, uh, the uncold uh, filtered ones. Yeah. Okay, that's basically that's basically all it is is brewing beer, removing the water, and letting Could it. Could you it imagine sit. opening one of those barrels after twenty two years and just the smell yeah. and the aroma and just like, holy yeah. So, Good. Uh, if you keep a Scotch in a bottle for, uh, say, you buy a twelve year. And you keep it, you know, five years in your basement or whatever. Mm-hmm. Does it get any better? Usually not. No? Usually it's not. It's based on the it, barrel. It's based on the barrel. Yeah. Mate, okay. That's where it gets all the flavor from is the barrel. Okay. That, and that's, so, uh, yeah, I, mean, I didn't know you, that you, until you, now. Yeah. If you, if you keep a bottle, a lot of times, I mean, it'll still be good, but a lot of times it'll, if you keep it for five, ten years, it tastes like Really, Straight I feel beer. like this is the most I mean, be good. informative oh, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like it's also like wine, you know. After wine gets out of the barrels, you know, it'll it'll stop. The ferment, I make my the wine fermentation pro- the <laughs> fermentation and the flavor process stops in a gallon yeah. milk and and you know exactly <laughs> with, with balloon on top. Yeah. <laughs> so we yeah, but I mean, like sometimes you know, if you have wine, if you keep it for too long, it'll eventually start turning to vinegar. Mm. Yeah. It's just. Huh. Yeah. yeah, once it hits, it leaves that barrel and hits air, then it's gone. It's, it's done. Yeah, stop. Let's take a break real quick. Can we get a like for our, our microphone operator Yoshi? Thank you. Yeah, let's do that. Give us a like. Like a cigarette light? No, a like on on YouTube. Oh, a like, like, a like, like, like oh. us all. I thought you said light. Like, like a thumbs like, up. I no, think like. we needed more light. Like a thumbs up. No, we do oh, need I more like light. That too. Good segue into or video a Miller games. light. <laughs> Good segue in the game. Yeah, let's start with uh, Ricky. If you don't mind, can we start with oh, Journey? This is so Absolutely, it, yeah, it, it is. sounds good. It is really good. Take us on a journey of what about journey. the video, video game. game Journey. So just recently, a uh, new video game came out on the PSN exclusive. Yes, really. From I didn't Sony. know it was PSN. Yeah, no, from... they they just opened it up for everybody though. Right. Uh, well, but it's only on PSN. It's not yeah, on Xbox. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's that. out of Sony Santa Monica, and the uh, game developers are that game company. Yeah. The same go- game company that in, that uh, made Flow Fla- and, and Flower. Flower. Yeah. Very um, cool games in themselves. Yeah. They're a really unique game company. They make games like you like you never played before. I played Flower, and you were there to watch. While yeah. I was playing. They started off being like in a in a college atmosphere, yeah. and that's how they made Flow. Correct. Really? I think so. I, I yeah, they made that. it as a college project. It was it, they made it as a college project, and then after that, that's when they moved up to a flower, and they kept that's the where same, Portal came they, from. They, they, yeah, they kept the same ideals, and yeah. that's how they did it. But uh, kind of the same as Flower uh, Journey is a game where you just kind of start playing, and you're like, you just don't know like why am I doing this? Yeah, you have a you have like a you you know what you're you know you always know what you're going. You need to, go but you don't know why spot. you're doing it. Yeah, and um, it's always. Just relaxing is, it's always relaxing like, as hell. For in, like five hours. What? Nothing else. What's relaxing? Playing the game? You need to... Talking about playing the game. Yeah. And it, you're trying to get to this top of this mountain or something. Right. right. Uh, that's the, that's, that's all you know. Goals. That's oh, all you know. You're just okay. walking that way. Yeah. That's all you really know. Yeah. And the kind of cool thing about this one is it's online multiplayer, but you never know... You get always get randomly paired with someone, and you don't know who you it is. You don't know who they are. You have no way to communicate with them other than a few couple things. You don't know their name. Hand and signals, they can't right? talk to you. Not hand signals. It's just in, one in button. Game stuff. One yeah. button. That's it. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to give away. I don't want to talk about too much of the details. Oh no, yeah. Just I'm not going to download it. You Tell need me. to. We want to be. No, no. We need you the need mystery. To. We need the mystery. Okay. Our viewers need the mystery. But I feel like so this game is too mysterious. So you're playing and playing, and like slowly, you like just become emotionally invested in this game. It's only two hours long, so you, it's an easy. You build. You know, a it's bond. not a big commitment. You build a bond with your partner. You build a bond with your partner, and you build a bond with what you're doing and why you're doing okay. it. Okay. And it's all through. It's not through text. It's not through cutscenes. It's just through context of the world and the gameplay and how you play how how you want to play right you don't if you meet up with somebody you don't necessarily have to play with them or yeah, you can you can just or play the way going. that they expect you can do right. whatever you want and that's that's the mystery of the game right. kind of thing and the cool thing about this is when you get almost to the end you start doing this one thing mm-hmm. and it becomes it's almost like you're doing it for the character like it's oh. I don't know, it was just, it was just the it's, coolest thing ever. It's kind of worth it kind of thing. It's hard to describe without playing, you know, Are without you playing. Are you trying to hop a dillo yet? <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
And it, I, I mean, I would. It's only two hours. It's fifteen dollars right now. I'm sure it's going to go on sale at some point, maybe down to ten. Yeah. It's two hours of your time. It's so worth it. It's just a, it's the most unique gaming experiences experience you'll ever do. And, expect, and if you haven't played Flower, go download and Flower and play it too because it's awesome. Yeah. That's really all I have to say about it. That's download it and play it and, and experience it. And let me know what it's like. This cap is easy. What is it? What does it say? Rumple stilt skin. Right. Look at mine. Oh. Rum. It's a rum bottle. Okay. And then a bowl. Okay. Okay. Still um, okay. Kin. Nice. I'm gonna take it. Now we, that. we've all been playing Triple Town. Okay. We well, all have been playing Triple Town, man. Have you, Corey? Have you? Have I've you been heard playing a uh, Tiger Woods PGA 2004. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. my uh, Xbox. Two thousand four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Limited release. Gotcha. Oh okay. yeah. Limited uh, release. I, I want to know. I've been you... playing that game. I, I beat it like four times. <laughs> I mean, I beat. I, I've beat my cousin character. Character beat Tiger Woods like ten times. Nice. Do you have to I mean, pee on, Do you have to pee on porn stars? <laughs> Oh, uh, the golden shower, the golden shower. <laughs> Brie Olson, if you're watching this, please hook, please like Look, us. Is he one of the ones he banged? Is she one of the ones he banged? I'm pretty sure. What Who knows? Hell know. no, it, Brie Olson. <laughs> I don't know if you know Tiger Woods or not, but if you're what, watching this. I want to know if y'all know what a baby seal and a Norwegian have in common. Or no wait, oh, <laughs> you gave away the you gave away the messed punch up line, the punchline. <laughs> yeah, Tiger, we got beat by them. <laughs> Anywho, we're talking about Triple Town. Triple Town. Triple Town. Hook me up with some knowledge. No, dude. tell us what Triple Town no, is. No, you are what's the, the what's, fucking. Uh, what's the premise obviously. of Triple Town? Guilty. Triple Town is a a match three game, but as wait, you wait, 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 what does that mean? A match three, um, like you know, like kind of like bejeweled, where yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. drop the jewels down, and once you get three in a row, they combine. you grab, you they combine, oh, okay, and you yeah, grab yeah, your okay. points, or whatever. Okay, got it. However, in Triple Town, when you match your three, they combine, and then they like move up a level. They combine. Say you got you you put a grass and a grass and a grass together. Wherever you put your last grass, it combines into a bush. And then you you do the same thing and you try to get three. You shouldn't bushes. talk to Corey because then you're. I'm just saying. I, I'm I'm learning. He's, I'm okay. trying to teach y'all. Learn about scotch. I'm yeah. learning about video games. Okay. So, so it, it's a lot of like thinking of head. Uh, yes. Thinking ahead. So you make one bush and you have to plan ahead where you're gonna put. You're gonna do grass, grass, bushes. you press to bush. You plant your seed in the bush. Yeah. Eventually, and it you feels put three good. bushes together. You get a tree. Yeah, three trees a make a house. Yeah. Hopefully, the bush has been trimmed hey. a little bit. All right, <laughs> tell me how many times you've been frustrated with this shit. And tell I'm gonna me. say this right now. God damn you, you goddamn game developers, whoever did this. All right, so you you do bush bush, and you're about to work <laughs> on your third bush to make yeah. a, a, a tree you, to you, make a house. But you do they give you, you do they tree. Give, I mean, you do. Grass, 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 and then they give you a bush. Go, yes, happens all they the do time. It all the fucking all time. time. It's yeah. that's the reason. Like they goddamn there. assholes. Or you're saying I'm yeah. tired. Was too dumb for I hit when I hit the ball in the bush, <laughs> 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 or the tree, <laughs> or the tall grass. <laughs> yes, true. yes. Or I hit a house. Yeah. I mean, I'm, if you I'm hit, with if you, you boys. I'm with if you, you boys. hit your ball into my triple town and it took up a space, I would be pissed. I would be so pissed. If it's a goddamn golf ball and a goddamn piece of grass, I'd be like. Fucking! Have y'all played with the update yet? The the new the where one? you can do different maps. Yeah, yeah. You did no. the different maps. Did you do the one? You with, haven't. Did, when did that happen? Did you do the one without the bears? Yes, <gasps> that's all I did. Yeah, that, when did this, this happen? The, that, that's how did I this happen today. I don't know. Bears no, it happened last man. week. You're so full of shit. No, no, y'all are fucking with me. You can pick. There's now three different maps you can pick. One doesn't have a bush. Yo, are fucking with me right now. No, what? I don't even believe you. <laughs> if there are no goddamn bears in this game, I'm gonna play I'm this shit. Serious, you can do that, like in my game. Bears. Hold on, yeah, hold on. No bears. Bears. Up. And, and then another one has like an island in yeah, the middle. Yeah, in the middle. I didn't want to say anything because I was afraid if you did the no bears one, you'd beat me again. <laughs> <laughs> I already. Oh, you have a higher score than him. Oh no, no! no. no. What's your what's y'all's high scores? I'm like seven hundred thousand, bitch. I'm sure. at three hundred. So get off my dick hole. Okay, so what's better? Uh, the whole part. The, the house, like, <laughs> He's a little nasty. The mansions, or do you want to go to like cathedrals? <laughs> no mansions, cathedrals Dude. give you money. Dude. Right, but uh, exactly. So mansions give get you points. Get off at my fucking tower. Get off of it. I, I've had a floating tower before. Fuck you! I've had fucking three. They weren't. How do you do that? that? 
Oh, yeah. Did you combine them? It? I wasn't able to. You have to have four floating towers to get a floating castle. Yeah. What does that do? I don't know. I'm scared. I didn't. How know do you though. plan that? I didn't. It fucking worked. Look, I got a mega treasure chest though. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> it was blocking my bears. You son of a bitch! You let them out of their fucking cage. I cast it in. Where's this goddamn thing where you go? <laughs> yeah, the oh, you start a new game. Uh, Apparently, you've been working on yours for over a fucking week. I just I cashed in his treasure chest. That fucking asshole. Oh, yeah, fifty six thousand. Yeah, you suck. Dude. Have y'all bought any coins yet? <laughs> no. no. Have you? No. Microtransactions, son of a bitch. Oh, oh, what I get on the? Other they already day? got me damn freemium shit. Yeah, I know. Fucking, I got on uh, uh, oh. Gotham Imposters the other day. There's so many I fucking still- 12-year-olds that obviously bought, like, so much money. So much so much of their parents' money in, uh, in shit. Level up. Yeah. Asshole. It was fucking ridiculous. Like, these fucking Batman running around, like, all looking I badass. S- everything that you that have to buy. Awesome. Or everything, like, Listen. to change your costume, you have to buy certain shit. And they don't give you any points for each round you do. Yeah. Like, hardly any. Yeah, it's hard so to get So you on. have to put in money. Say you want say you want to go shirtless. It's like 1,500 points. That's Cooper. You have all, to, all the chick, I'm saving up. I only have 200. All the, all, all like all the fags want to do their the, do the chick uh, shirtless. <laughs> Can you hey, do but that? dude, Gotham, Gotham City. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> Gotham, no, they have a brawl, but oh, uh, oh, Gotham City oh. Imposter is just like pure fun. I am. Oh yeah, they, they, they don't like, have the like, FPS guys, the first person shooter guys. Yeah, like oh, it's so just nerdy. So it's yeah. so it's actually fun. <laughs> like Call yeah. of Duty is is like intense yeah. realism. Yeah, but. Uh, Gotham City Imposter is just fun to play. Like, yeah. it's just you're playing, it's and if, fun. if you it's have like, a headset on, you're hearing guys. They're yeah. they're not like, oh fuck, goddamn motherfucking bastard. Yeah. They help. They want to. They want to win and stuff. Yeah. yeah, they're like, hey dude, you know, hey, go get number two. Yeah. Go go get number three. You it's know? fun. Oh, they're getting number one. Go go kill them bastards. That's when they drop the B word. So they're Irish. <laughs> I, I heard they were Irish just now through Cooper's yeah. voice. Yeah. <laughs> said, hey, go get to the point two. <laughs> okay. Um, got hey goes with the thing. Scotch. Yeah. Scotch. God, everything. Scotch. See, all this stuff ties back he into back. Tiger Woods 2004. Yeah. And Scott, <laughs> he's Scottish. He's part <laughs> Scottish. Why have you not been on this before? <laughs> <laughs> all right, huge, huge, huge news. Ex- Especially for me. Drop the knowledge. Diablo 3 May. let out a release date. May. And I cheesed in my pants. He did. May 15th, May 2012. Oh, yeah. For all you folks out there. The only thing is, is they May don't two. have PvP. That's okay. Yeah. We're doing all right. We're doing PvE. You know what? You PvP. People versus pisses environment. Me off. Yeah. PvP. It's player versus player. That would be a higher level. Pisses me you. off. <laughs> What level are you on Diablo 2? 26. No, you're Liar. so full of shit. You're so full Get of shit. I told you the other day. Get out of this You did bitch. tell us that the other but day. But you were fucking lying. Yeah, you lying. I picked up Diablo okay, 2 I'm again. I'm <laughs> uh, saying January, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. But uh, it took me... Let's see. I, I told Ricky and Hilti to start playing probably freshman year of college. What would you say? Long, it, long time ago. Long, long time Hilti ago. Hilti just started playing in February. <laughs> I did. Ricky really hasn't started playing yet. He's, yeah, he's played once. Well, he's on level 26. He's level 26. Yeah, yeah he's Big really not. <laughs> um, anyways, can't wait Dude. till Diablo 3. Well, you, you can download you it right now. You're playing a necromancer right now, right? Yeah, right now I'm a necromancer. I've never done necromancer. I've only done, uh, I've only done Barbarian. And I did oh, a no, druid no, once, like way back when. Right now, I'm a sorceress and I got big tits. Thank you very much. Yeah, the, one of the neat Can things about Diablo you? three. Right here. One of the neat yeah, things yeah. about Diablo three. You do male uh, and female for all the classes. Every class. <laughs> I, I'm proud of you. You must have read up. I fucking read up. See, Hilti's like turning into a D nerd. Nah, uh, I like that. dude. I like play that. goddamn Skyrim and Fallout. It's the same goddamn. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, Except we can. Or he, could be like Eric, Eric, or he could be like Eric and play just run Mass around Effect. in college. Yeah, it's true. It's Skyrim. Rim, yeah. rim jobs. Skyrim jobs. What's Sky up? Coaster Rim jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Shadowland? No. Uh, what What did you play and they just came out with the... Or they're about to come out with the second one. What? 
Uh, you played it, and it was quite a bit like Diablo. Uh, it started with an S. No. It was a PC game. What? You're, uh... Skyrim? No. <laughs> what are you thinking of? That's, uh... What did I play? You played... I know what you're talking about. Fucking shit, what is it called? Shadow of the Colossus? No. No. Fuck, Hilti, you play so many games. I know, I don't know. You play Shadow of the Colossus? I gave it to you for your birthday. <laughs> Dude, it's ama- that game is amazing. It came out in HD and we haven't played it yet. It's, it's $10 for HD. Oh my god. It's, y'all need to download it play it and we'll talk about it. Dude, I, fuck, I watched the shit out of you playing that. It's so <laughs> good. What's the game you're talking about? Uh, Torchlight. Torchlight. Yeah. That doesn't start with an S. I, I told him it didn't. Well, I, I like what that he knew what I was talking about. I know you're talking about. Didn't even have an S in the whole name. Oh, yeah. I, I, heard, I heard Torchlight. Torchlight. Exactly. I've never played it. Hilti, you played it. How, no! How, you didn't play it? I played the no. starting thing. Oh, you did? Yeah, because I downloaded it. I need to fucking play that game. How, how'd you like I it? I downloaded the demo. They're coming out with the second one, right? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, okay. How'd you like it? How'd you like the first one? I mean, uh, I didn't play enough of like it to say anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, well, one of the big things was D3 is coming out yes. before Torchlight 2. Yeah. Uh, oh, like that that's going to be whoa, whoa, a huge whoa, 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 inconvenience. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or, what? D3? Yeah. Diablo 3. Oh, I thought. Uh, no. Mighty Ducks? No. <laughs> that's already come out. I just can't. D3. D3. <laughs> D1, D2. That was D3. the 90s. Quack, 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 quack. quack. You got that rodeo <laughs> kid? Did <laughs> you know that that rodeo kid in, in uh, Ducks 3 was. Actually, a, a rodeo guy. Really? No, yeah. No, I didn't in real know. life, he he did rodeos and shit. Did you know Charlie Conway banged Daryl Banger? <laughs> Daryl Banger. The icebox. <laughs> so you guys do. Yeah. Tell us your story. Charlie Conway story. banged the icebox. Mm. No. Did you know that Conway? Did the dick freeze off? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's used to the ice. <laughs> oh shit! I just kidding. He melted it. Icebox. Well, that's awesome. He had a third skate <laughs> with his day cold. Anyways, Diablo 2 is awesome. Yeah. Uh, we're excited about it. You need to start playing a little bit more. I will was Diablo 3. What, you, what is your goddamn love for real? Don't fucking lie to us. I haven't been on the no. Yeah. It's, it's under 10. You're 11. You're like 11. 10. No, it's you're 11. 11. Oh, okay. We played. You're 11. Okay. We, no, we played once and you got to like level 5 or 6. No, you got higher than that. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, you're a dick hole. Okay. Anyways, you definitely that. you need to play through. It's fun. The I'm, whole game once. Just we, before D3. we might mention it again because I just got to level 20 and Cooper's going to help me out finishing the rest of the game. And D2, once you get to level 20, you can do run-throughs and you share experience yeah. with anybody in your party. And so, so it'll it'll go through a lot faster and we'll be able to talk more about just it. Re- so. Just refer yeah. to the YouTube videos from 1999. Year 2000. 2001. <laughs> Gosh. All right. Let's wrap this shit up. Should we wrap it up? I'm ready yeah. to go. Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Like a condom. Let's slip yeah. on a condom and get out of here. I'm fucking hungry. Hungry? You want to eat something? Let's do it. Eat some cock. You got a piss, too. <laughs> I really, I really too. would rather not eat the cock cock. <laughs> Corey doesn't want to eat cock. Oh, it's okay. All right, man. Well, Corey, I appreciate you coming by. Yeah, hey, thanks for having me, guys. No, I'd thank like you for having you. us. Thank <laughs> you for <laughs> having us. You know, it's just a joint <laughs> garage. Joint, like joint venture? Here. Yeah. You know, I did think like... we were going to have cigars here, but... <laughs> I mean... Ooh. Whoa! No, I'm over it. Maybe later. Hey, maybe later. It's gonna be an extra, or maybe an episode coming soon. Whenever we go out to our buddy's land up in Centerville. Hell yeah! And yeah, that right. shit's gonna be crazy because we're gonna get drunk as shit, and we don't give a shit. And I'll be there. This and Eric will be there. This is on a thir- we'll I'll Thursday. I'll be there. We're gonna film everything. Pro, do yeah. some we're shooting. Gonna, some we're gonna film shooting. everything. Yep. So yeah. stick around. Subscribe. You'll catch it. Comment, like, subscribe. Comment, like, subscribe. Episode six coming soon. Yeah, episode five here. here. Episode six coming to YouTube pretty soon. Oh, shit, episode six sucks. <laughs> hey, <What>? hey, <laughs> they should, hey, we need to tell them this. If y'all have, if y'all are on PlayStation, you can play with us. I'm yeah, Big Driggy, B I G D R I G G Y. Come play with me. I am R Hill T O five R H I L T Y zero five. I think I'm Coop Dog D O G. Zero zero nine. There you go. It's, it's like is it not two seven. G's? No, it's only one. It's just one G. And I'm still playing Tiger Woods two days. Tiger Woods. Four. If you want to play with Corey, come over to his house. <laughs> come, come laying up. Come laying up with Corey. <laughs> 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 still hey, ain't nothing wrong, wrong with it. I have fun. Hey, can I take us home? All right, who's this to? Take us home. We're gonna. Well, you're gonna take us we're home. Gonna, when we we're gonna after we do the end. We're gonna. T- okay, we're gonna okay. let you take us home. I'm just getting a little anxious. So this has been Goblet good. Games of Guns number this many episode. This many. This many. This many. This many.
or this many. We've had a good time. Oh, I hope you had a good time. I hope you've dr- been drinking or drunk. If I'm not, you're watching this drunk. It's much better. Go. Yeah, yeah. You, should, you should do it. You're like, it was a lot better if you were drinking, too. Yeah. Anyways, Goblin Games and Gun, number this many. For all the hopheads. To all those Bowser bashers. All right, to all them trot killers. And those scotch aficionados. We love you. Come back next time. Refill, respawn, reload. Take us out, Corey. Shove it in with a drunken sailor early in the morning. Shave his balls with a rusty razor. Shave his balls with a rusty razor. Shave his balls with a rusty razor early in the morning. Protection. Yeah, I wonder why everybody has a different penis size. <laughs> <laughs>